The politics of the 2027 general elections have already started and the gloves are officially off. The bitter fallout and betrayal. Let me ask you, what exactly is going on between the DP Rigadi Gashagwa in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance? While on the other side, what is going on between Martha Karua and Raila Odinga. Let me give you the details in this analysis. But first of all, I want us to talk about Martha Karua and Raila Odinga. So the Kenya party leader, Honorable Martha Karua. Martha Karua, who is very angry. Martha Karua, who is extremely bitter, sudden, shocking announcement. Exposing Raila Odinga badly in a statement. That statement I will actually read for you. Very, very disturbing statement. Martha Karua's statement comes barely after the Limuru 3 political meeting. Whereby Martha Karua came out as someone who has officially resigned, quitted Azimio Laumoja One Kenya Alliance to officially join Uhuru Muge Kenyatta's Haki coalition. What is the next political future between Martha Karua, Uhuru Kenyatta, Haki coalition, Rigadi Gashagwa, and some of the leaders from the Mount Kenya region? ahead of the 2027 general elections. But this time round, Martha Karua in her statement, she has decided, Kama mbaya, mbaya. Therefore, Martha Karua has finally revealed what exactly went on in Azimio and how Raila Odinga mistreated, betrayed, and kicked out Azimio leaders from the larger Mount Kenya region. Let me say this. As the male leaders from the mountain, they were told, they were warned about Raila Odinga. They never listened. They kept on following Raila Odinga. That was one very, very big political mistake and they are currently regretting. And that exactly explains as to why even the former head of state, Uhuru Moya Kenyatta, is no longer with Raila Odinga. You had Uhuru Kenyatta recently complaining, talking about political betrayal, describing Raila Odinga and his allies as wasality. What is going on here? Before I read for you Martha Karua's statement, just a quick reminder that if you are listening to me up to this point and you haven't subscribed this is the time i'm requesting you to please just take one second or two and subscribe to this channel also give this video a like i do appreciate you for your support let us proceed without wasting time so this is exactly what martha karua is saying about raila odinga while outlining five-point grievances describing Raila Odinga as a political con man. Martha Karua, Uhuru Kenyatta, and Jeremiah Kioni must salute President William Ruto. They must describe William Ruto as the best president, as the best politician. You know why? Because one thing about William Ruto is not good at political betrayal. William Ruto is a man of his word. He cannot promise you what he cannot do. He better remain silent. William Ruto has never betrayed any politician. That is one thing different between William Ruto and Raila Odinga. Martha Karua is saying this, that Raila Odinga kept the Kikuyus in the dark 
over the initial William Ruto Raila Odinga peace talks in Mombasa they were unaware that Raila Odinga was going to meet with William Ruto while on the other side president William Ruto briefed his Kenya Kwanza alliance leaders that he was going to meet with Raila Odinga he explained to them what they talked about the five point the, the, the issues that they talked about you know number 2 Martha Karua is saying that the Kikuyus were initially left out by Raila Odinga in the National Dialogue Committee report. And later on, after the pressure mounted on Raila Odinga, Raila Odinga decided uh, that drop in Jeremiah Kioni in the technical team, team in the NADCO report. You know why? Because in the technical team, they were not allowed to make any decisions. So Jeremiah Kioni was in the NATCO report meeting just to watch and listen. He never talked. He never contributed to at anything. And number three, they were not briefed before Raila Odinga declared interest in the African Union Commission chairmanship position. All of a sudden, they had Raila Odinga making a decision that he is interested for the African Union Commission top job, endorsed by William Ruto. Also, she's saying this, they were not briefed, sorry, that they were not engaged in running of the coalition. The Jubilee party was left out of the recent Raila Odinga's uh, parliamentary group meeting or the program. You know, parliamentary group meeting in Azimio coalition, Raila Odinga should have included, should have invited all uh, the affiliate parties within Azimio. But the Jubilee party, according to Martha Karua, was not briefed. Why? Because of the bitter fallout between Raila Odinga and the former head of state, Uhuru Uge Kenyatta. That is why the Jubilee party was not included for the first time. So this is how politics is shaping out ahead of the 2027 20, general elections. And finally, Martha Karua is saying, talking about missing out in the parliamentary service commission slots. Is complaining about that. Indeed, according to Martha Karua, Raila Odinga is a political conman. But let me ask this: ahead of the 2020 20, to general elections during the last days president william ruto reached out to martha karua he wanted martha karua to join kenya kwanza and to be the deputy president martha karua rejected that is right it is or it was her decision but apart from martha karua rejecting william ruto's invitation she went on attacking William Ruto again, calling William Ruto names, saying that William Ruto is the most corrupt politician, saying that he cannot join, she cannot join William Ruto because William Ruto will not win the 2022 presidential bid. She decided to join Raila Odinga, describing Raila Odinga as the best person, the best politician ever. So on this one, I can say, watcha Kimrambe. Let her feel, let her understand her actions. Number two, before Martha Karua blaming Raila Odinga, how many votes did she deliver to Azimio? How many votes did she contribute to Raila Odinga? That is the question. So she cannot make any decisions or she cannot lecture Raila Odinga on how to make political decisions. Yet she did not deliver any votes to Raila Odinga. And finally, finally, Martha Karua has always boycotted as new meetings. Right? Even during the demonstrations, when Raila Odinga convened for the demonstrations, Martha Karua was never seen, including Kalonzo Musioka. So blaming Raila Odinga on other issues, that is not fair at all. 
and also William Ruto working with Raila Odinga ahead of the 2027 general elections. Martha Karua should not blame Raila Odinga, should never blame William Ruto. She should blame her own self. That is it. I don't know what you think. I want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. My name is Jason. Bye-bye and have a good night. Thank you.